Hi guys, thanks for watching. Uh, in this little tutorial, we're going to talk about how to make circles uh, in the Canvas element using JavaScript. And again, I am starting with kind of my base template here. So if you want to uh, get that, feel free to watch the initial tutorial on how to set up Canvas using JS Fiddle. All right. So uh, I'm going to, again, always start with the begin path. And so I'm going to use the variable, the context variable that I have, so ctx, ctx.beginPath. And it's a method, so we have the parentheses, the parameter arguments after it. There's nothing to put in there at the moment. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a use the arc method. And the arc method is how we draw circles. Now, it also allows you to draw half circles and other things as well, but let's talk specifically today about circles. So CTX arc requires five arguments, okay? And the arguments are the X and Y location on the canvas. So it's the center of the circle. So again, if you remember here, top left is zero, zero. The X value going across will be whatever your width is. So my width is 600, so it'll be over here, will be 600, zero. If I move down the canvas, then the Y value increases. So this is my height is 400. So the bottom right would be 600, 400. So we'll just start with one right up here. You know, so let's say um, 100 and then I'll say down 150. So that'd be over 100 and down 150. So that'd be the center of my circle. So that's the X and that's the Y. The third argument in the method here is the radius. And the radius is the distance, it's basically the size of the circle, but from the center of the circle to the edge. So I'll say that this radius is going to be 30 pixels. The fourth and fifth arguments then is the starting point around a circle and the ending point. And for those of you that uh, are familiar with radians in math, okay, well the distance around the circle is called circumference. And the formula for circumference is 2 pi times the radius. Well that 2 pi basically means is that if we start at one spot on the circle and go all the way around, there's going to be two pi radiuses. So if we could line up those radiuses back to back, going around, there'd be two pi of them. So those two pi is about 6.28. So we are going to start with zero and then move all the way around, which would be two pi. Okay, so, and, and again, for those of you that have done some trig, this would look very similar to the unit circle. So the right over on the x-axis on the right, that is the starting point. So I'll start at zero, and I'm going to go all the way around, and I'm going to go with math.pi, so that's how I get the pi, and then to get the two pi, I just multiply it by two. Okay, and then if I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens if you don't do anything more with this. I'm going to go close path, oops, and I hit the run, you're going to see that nothing happens. Well, this arc is literally, it's just a path. So until we do something with that, it's never going to show up. So let's go ahead and go ctx.fill. Now if I hit run, you can see there it is. So there's our circle. I could also change that from fill to stroke. And you get an outline. So you can do either one with, with this. So arc is a path. And you can either stroke or fill that path, that arc. Okay, so let's do just a couple more. I'm just going to copy and paste this just so you can see. Um, so control C and control V. Uh, and I'm going to change the location. So I'm going to go over, uh, I'll go over 300 and I'll go down to 200. And this time I'll make it a little bit bigger. So I'll make it um, a radius of 60. And I'm going to fill it. So you can see both. So there you go. So you can kind of see what those numbers and how they're doing there. But what I want to kind of jump into now is, well, what happens with these other numbers, the starting and ending position? Well, if we wanted to do a half circle, I could actually change this to math.pi. And I could go times 1, or that would be 1 pi. But you can see what's going to happen to this one is I get that half circle. Or if I want to start at zero and just go to math.py, I get 
get the other half. So the starting point is over here on the left. Well, I don't want to go, let's just say I have a quarter circle. So math.pi times 0.5. So one pi is half a circle, so half a pi would be a quarter circle. Let's say it runs. You can kind of see what that looks like. So that works pretty good. Now, let me show you the problem with that same exact thing when you do a fill. You don't get a nice pie slice. You actually get something a little bit different. So if I change that to 0.5, I hit run. You see that it fills between the starting point and the ending point. It doesn't go to the center of there. So you'd have to do a little bit of work there, uh, some, some uh, thinking about how you'd want to do that. If you could use the line tool to fill that in, you could do... You know, circles on top of each other, one white, one black, to override it, something like that. You could you could definitely be creative with that. But I kind of want to show you how that works. Um, let's start at pi. Dot pi and I'm going to go to 1.5 pi. So you can see there, I get the top half. And, and it doesn't have to be, so 1 and 1.5 and 0.5 pi, those are the kind of those nice either on the horizontal axis, you know, it's just a nice um, horizontal axis or vertical axis locations. But if I want to go 1.8, something like that, you can see that you can get partials as well in there. Okay, so that is how you can create circles or half circles if you want uh, using the art tool with JavaScript Canvas. Good luck. Have fun.